Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your HDMI playback device is not showing up or appearing in Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to right click on your speaker icon down in your system tray, and then select the sounds button. Select the playback tab. And then if you notice a device that's grayed out in here, you might want to right click on it and enable it. So if it's disabled, you want to go ahead and enable that. So you can see then if it appears in the list and then you'd actually be able to play back using that device. Something else you can try here too, if you close out of here, would be to open up the start menu, type in device manager, best result, should come back with device manager. So go ahead and left click on that to open it up. You want to expand the audio inputs and output section and then right click on whatever your output devices you're trying to have resolved and then select update driver. Select search automatically for drivers and you can also further try and search through Windows Update for drivers as well or if you went back you could also browse your computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then select whichever one is most applicable. Usually I like going with the one that's more specific in the name of the item in the device manager as opposed to just generic software device or some generic driver. But you know, you have options there. Usually if you don't have any options, I would just go with the generic one. So you usually should have some option there to go with is basically what I'm saying. And then you just would select next, let it install, close out of here once that's done, restart your computer. And again, hopefully this should have been able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.